What is up guys, Carl here. It's time for a new map guide. This time it's the Castle Armory. It's the map of their servants quarters. So we have gone from just protecting one crystal to two. So if we have a look at the map and uh, see what we can see. We have uh, five doors. Gonna be our main entry points for the enemies. We have four chests to begin with. So we have one right here. And they do give you 70. Just like on the other map. So let's just pick them up. This chest. And the one on the other side over here. Are permanent chests or they will spawn each time. You do have one chest on top of here. One of them, I think, this one disappears. So you do have this chest that uh, appears every time. And you do have this chest as well. So if... Yeah, let's pick this one up first. So now we get them all. Gotta catch them all. So um, if... We try to find the choke points. The back doors do contain uh, two paths. So you have this path from this door, which comes up here. So we have we could either stop them there or stop them there. Uh, it doesn't really matter if we stop them down there or down here. One thing we need to keep in consideration is that we will face a new enemy. I have no idea what it's called, but it's like a ninja. He can jump between levels. Like he can jump just like I can between these. And he's got some nasty blades. So, um, we might need to focus something back here. And do the same on the other side. So, uh, what we could do is start off with something simple. Place a bouncing Betty right here. And let's place a bouncing betty here as well. I like keeping the setup the same on both sides. So I know that if this area lets uh, small goblins through, it will be the same on this side. Like if we built a regular wall on this side and a bouncing betty on that side, this might let small goblins and archers through. While on this side, just the goblins come through. So, keeping the same setup on each side will make sure that this one does the same as that one. Keeps all the enemies that this one does on that side. I think you get a point. So, um, the map is split. It's, uh, as you can see, a mirror map. So, it will be the same on both sides. So, uh, if... We have a look on this side. Guys will come through uh, the middle door and split up right here. So they either go up there, those staircases or those staircases. And then up and then up towards the crystal. So um, we need to find a certain choke point to stop these guys. Might do it down here, might do it down here. But probably the best way to stop them is here, because we do have one other door. This one. This one might seem a bit tricky. Looks like, oh, they're just gonna walk down here and cross the stairs and go down towards this choke point. So if we just play something there, they might be good. That is not the case. Some of the enemies will walk up here on these wooden steps and wooden planks. So, um... We need to be sure to stop them from doing that. But uh, let's place a little slicey dicey down here. This should be able to <coughs> stop on this side. And anyone coming on this side. What we probably should do is place a bouncing betty. Or should we place a wall? Place a bouncing betty. You can't place it on the planks, but you can place it just 
by the side here so if we maybe place it back there it should the enemies should walk down here and they should be bouncing and flying off in this direction this might backfire and actually propel them here but um, they should be strong enough to kill them when playing on normal so we don't have enough to do the same setup on this side but uh, what we can do is place a bouncing betty up here at least so um and then we'll just go and melee the ones coming up here we aren't facing that many guys 10 from this door and uh yeah probably about eight on this they might split up unevenly so uh, yeah let's just try and see what happens so uh, these ones should be safe for now they aren't doing that the same amount as a slice and dice tower but it should be enough for now so um, we do have some enemies walking up here this is taking care of anyone walking up here so let's get in close and personal they are upgraded so this might be a bit difficult let's actually build a I don't think we have time to um, build a tower since the archers will probably shoot us let's check the map can't see anyone more yes these archers left One guy left. Where is he? Up there. So there we go. Pretty peaceful way. So let's do the same setup up here and place a slice and dice right there. I should take care of them. Now we should have the same setup. Two bouncing beddies back there. One bouncing beddy there. Bouncing beddy there. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, now we do have the same setup on both sides. Now we can uh, change. We could actually start by placing a harpoon tower up here on this ledge and make sure it covers this area. This will not only shoot these guys, but they will shoot these guys. Some of the archers might stay up here and shoot at the traps, so that should be able to take care of it. So let's just pick up any spare crystals that's rolling around. Remember to check the chests. New weapons, guess no new weapons. We do have kobolds this run, this run but uh, our slicing dice should kill them before they get too close. But just in case, let's place a tower just like on the other side. Let you do it. So let's go back and change these for for a slice and dice tower instead. Now we could probably place a slice and dice down here. Let's try it. I uh, have only played this map as a just like the other one only played it as the apprentice so I'm not sure if this is the correct location my friend did play a squire but he was a bit higher level so we'll just see what happens it should be enough the problem will be in one or two rounds when the ninjas are coming but for now this should suffice so placing it about there should stop them could uh, could probably place a tower here as well should take care of any ninjas trying to run jump around and a tower like so we have 59 left we don't have any chests I can't see any more any more crystals so let's just get this start party started if we want we can stay back and check 
on our fences. Let's see what the back door is doing. Doing pretty well. Taking care of everything. And the uh, slice and dice is spinning up. The bouncer is taking care of anyone getting too close and the harpoon tower is slicing them at a distance. So this is working out pretty well. What we could do is collect some mana, mana orbs and upgrade a tower. You can do this to save the total time. So you can see we're getting loads and loads of of mana crystals. Let's bring this up a level as well. Let's collect any. Let's bring some base damage. My equipment actually is somehow doing minus eight. Yeah, as you can see, my polished and chanted plate west is doing minus eight to. Uh, tower health but right now it's at zero since my my hero has plus eight and the equipment gives minus eight so it's down to basic basic protection no extra boosts but they are pretty strong from the beginning so shouldn't be too much of a problem let's give this a boost as well and this a boost as well and we have the same setup on both sides. We are still two waves away from uh, completing the quest, so... We haven't met the most difficult enemies yet. We will get there. Let's bring these up to power. Since these towers can stop the enemies before they hit the, the sli slice and dice, so save us some time. And uh, as I mentioned before, if you if you finish your wave in uh, under a certain time, you will get extra extra bonuses since uh, completing wave faster than you actually should is something to be proud of, so to say. So uh, should be all do have. This one is a bit damaged. It isn't that damaged at all. Down 40, 40 HP, but you can still see it blinking on the minimap. So gives us a warning that something is going on with this. What we could do is give it two mana crystals. Didn't heal it at all. It healed it 20. But anyhow, it's gonna be enough to to protect this. Armory. It's working pretty well. Got all the crystals. We can. Uh, I'm not saying that you should totally ignore this area, but for now, this is working well enough for us to focus our attention on the front doors. What we could do, we still have uh, some defense units, so we could place a cannonball tower. Let's have some fun with that. And place another little bowling ball tower up here. Oh, need some more monies. There we go. And what I did forget to mention on this map is, as you can see, there are spikes down here. You don't want to fall down. Because just like lava it will insta kill you so um, this one is working pretty well we did have some uh, as you can see up here he's spassing into the wall we have a summoner so be sure to take care of him come hit up back up ow oh, damn it we didn't get the not taking damage bonus but anyhow it for this one. Let's see if this is the round where we'll meet some ninjas. Wait, seven. Yeah, as you can see, 
the one up just above the cobalt is a ninja. So we're meeting two ninjas here, two ninjas there, and uh, yeah, no ninjas back here. So we need to be careful. Could probably leave this as it is, doing pretty good damage. Uh, just be careful that, as I said, they can jump to uh, different height levels. So um, you need to be careful. Don't just leave this to defend for itself. Let's see how our defenses are doing. This one could use a boost, maybe. As I mentioned before, if you repair it, it will uh, gain full HP so that you don't have to... Sorry, if you upgrade it, it will gain full HP so you don't have to repair it and then upgrade it. So that saves you some mana crystals. So, for example, this will cost me 17 to repair, but if I just upgrade it, it will cost a standard amount and it will heal. Well, uh, this one up here could get a boost. Let's get the chest down here. Let's see if we can have a look at the cannonball with bowling ball towers in action. I thought I noticed that they were doing pretty well in that general area. Should be all chests. Upgrade this one as well. This one is pretty damaged. So it's ready for the last round. Like so. We still have some defense unit, but uh, could be a good plan to have a look at if there's coming a ogre or other mean stuff from these areas in the next wave. So let's save those defense units. Let's give this cannon a boost and then get going. Let's see if we can have a look at those ninjas. This tower actually, I believe, shot into the ground. Yeah, if it shoots too close to the ground, it will get stuck and break. Not the actual tower, but uh, the missile that it's firing. So look at the map. It's doing pretty well on the top side. Let's see if we can see the ninja, or is it killing too fast? There he is. As you can see, he jumped up. He's jumping and staying away from our traps pretty well. So uh, if we do meet more ninjas, we might have to build another tower and this one is taking quite a beating so let's let's uh, try to take some more crystals and upgrade it see the ouch again you need to stay back since the archers can shoot you and when they do they will interrupt your your upgrading Is this tower holding up? Yeah, it's still on half HP, so it should be good. Pick up some more. It's doing pretty well. Now we can repair it. We could probably go and kick these guys. Back doors are clear. Only have one guy left. Where is he hiding? Hide on the other side. He's keeping away from the slice and dice and yeah, the bowling ball took care of it. So let's see what's up with the last round here. Final wave, we will have one ogre coming. We'll have two ninjas on this side. We will have uh, four summoners here. We will have two ninjas back here, and then just standard, standard setup. The goblins are upgraded, so you can see their portrait is red instead of green. So 
they will do more damage. Oops. So uh, maybe we should try and give this a boost to make sure that the back doors are safe. These are holding up pretty well. What we can do is put a harpoon tower to make sure that they're being damaged on the way up as well. So place it about here. That might get stuck actually. Let's place it in front of here so it can shoot downwards. That should be good. And it should be able to shoot down here and shoot through the ranks as they're walking up the stairs. Let's do the same setup on the other side. We don't know if the ogre will take that side or this side. But we'll just have to adapt and survive. So let's bring out another tower. It should do the trick. Let's repair this one a bit. Let's see if we can find some fun equipment. Guess not. You can usually see a green mark. Indicating a uh, item that is better than the one you're using. But can't see any, so probably isn't any. There's one chest on this side. And it should give us enough for a upgrade on this. Yeah. So now we have the same setup on both sides. We have coverage on this area with the bouncing blockade. And the... the the slice and dice. We have a tower as well. We have bowling balls that shoots down in this area. So anyone coming up to the slice and dice should be attacked. And we have some towers that kind of shoot down and attack the ogre as it approaches. So let's see if this tactic works. Let's bring it on. So the ogre not, isn't going to come yet. So we can probably... Have a look at how the towers are doing. That one needed some repair, so let's see if we can collect some crystals to be able to repair it before it gets too damaged. Ogre has arrived. There is. It's about the ninjas. They are staying back as they should. Slide and life blockade. Ogre is coming up this side, so we can, can't can actually reinforce. We don't have enough defense unit, but if we stay close by and collect some, uh, collect some crystals, we can stay back here and repair it. So you can see the Slice and Dice is doing a huge amount of damage. 241 times many every second, so... That was done pretty easily. Slice and Dice is doing its thing. Bouncing is pushing them back. We haven't seen any ninjas coming up on the side. These towers are taking care of it pretty well. Bowling balls are bouncing around and bouncing into the guys. We do have a bit of a problem with the summoner keeping on healing. But, yo, whoa, this one is taking a huge amount of damage. That should be good for that side. Should check the other side. These are taking some damage. So, might have to go in close and personal on the, on the summoners if they aren't cooperating as we wanted to but we're completing this you can see two one and done that's it for the castle armory victory <laughs> and we think let's give it some more defense my base damage and let's go for a 
or effects. So that was it for this level. To summarize, you have five entrances, you have this main door, you have this side door, and this side door includes two pathways. They can go down this side, or they can cross these stairs, and they will. So you have to be sure to cover this choke point and this little staircase. You can do this by just blocking it off and having some sort of tower to defend it. And uh, you need something to stop them here. If you're playing a monk, you might want to set up some snare auras and other auras to keep them in this area. And since you can't place your auras on top of this, you can't place them just around it, so you need to stay away. So this might be a good choke point for, well actually for any class. For the monk with auras, for the huntress with the traps, for the uh, apprentice with walls and a tower back here or something. Or a slice and dice, or just a regular blockade with a harpoon tower. And uh, since the map is a mirror map, you have the same setup on the, this side. You have the door up there, and you have this main door. You have the same kind of show points, and these wooden planks. So uh, on this side you need to be careful so that you don't fall down into these spikes. As you can see they are pretty mean looking spikes. If you, will, if you fall down you will die. Do not try this at home, kids. These crystals are closer to this side compared with this side, to the back door as I call it. There will be an ogre. You don't know if it's gonna go up this way or this way. So be ready to prepare your defenses. If you have some defense units left and it comes up this way, you might just put up a tower up here, an extra trap or an extra aura, something to just force him down as quick as possible. That's it for this side. On uh, the back side, we have one door there, one door there. Again, it's a mirror mirror map. You have some spikes in the middle. Don't fall down. You have a choke point on each side. You don't have one choke point for the back door. So it doesn't really matter if you place a blockade here or a blockade here. Or blockade here. The the setup will be the same. You can't save by placing a tower here or a tower there. So um, let's figure out what works best for you. You might not want to place as a apprentice a tower up here shooting down there because that will just force them to be stuck in that area. So place it maybe about here. So it has a a viewing area of that uh, edge of the wall to probably about the, the forge so it doesn't shoot straight into the door and uh, that should be it there are ninjas coming the ninjas can jump up on these ledges they are pretty fast so they can jump up and then they can jump over here and jump over there jump back and hurry up towards the crystals but uh, they're usually pretty easy and easily taken down, so just uh, make sure that you have some kind of tower firing towards them. A harpoon tower as the squire, again it shoots through the, field, the ranks, so that should take care of that problem. So yeah, I'm uh, as usual I'm gonna check out, you can see these, if I go behind the wall. You, these guys are flashing green, so they mean there are some kind of upgrade compared with the one I have. It uh, calculates the gear score. Be sure to leave a comment if this tactic worked for you, or if you have tips on other tactics for, uh, for the monk or huntress for example. The squire and the apprentice have a similar setup because they're using some sort of tower and a blockade to take down enemies while the 
while the squire or the huntress and the monk have a kind of area of effect. They don't have any blockades. You do have slowing traps, but not a physical blockade. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if this helped you. And uh, subscribe to see more Dungeon Defenders guides and other fun gaming stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye.